Hi, I'm Chad Bettis, author of The Disciple Making Parent, and this is my audio blog, where I read some of my blog posts in audio format for your convenience. Well, in today's episode, we're going to be thinking about welcoming church guests as a family ministry. Matthew 25, 35, Jesus says, I was a stranger and you invited me in. You know, one summer I was at wit's end. I was feeling burnout and the elders graciously granted me a sabbatical of several months. During the Sundays of those two months, my family continued to attend my church while I took Sunday morning road trips to different local churches. Several impressions remain from those visits. First, I remember how intimidating it was to go to a church where I did not know anyone. And second, I clearly remember how few people greeted me or took an interest in me. Of the eight churches I visited, exactly one person held a conversation with me. At church after church, I walked in alone, sat alone, worshipped alone, and walked out alone without having one significant conversation. But let me tell you about the exception. This dear woman was probably about 20 years my senior, and she sang in the choir. When the choir was dismissed, she came down and walked all the way to the rear of the church and sat a row behind me. When the service was over, she introduced herself and engaged me in conversation. She asked significant and appropriate questions. And I left that church feeling as if I'd connected with someone. Looking back on that day, I believe this was a ministry she had appointed herself to. While singing in the choir, she must have been scanning for first-time visitors to welcome. Well, we may often wonder about how to find open doors for the gospel, but one obvious opportunity that the Lord gives us is to greet visitors in our own church. Most of these folks are filled with unease and fear. Have you ever walked into a party where you didn't know anyone? It's scary. Have you ever been in a meeting where you couldn't leave without making a scene? It's very intimidating. A church service presents both these challenges to first-time visitors. Greet one another is a command. It's found in 1 Thessalonians 5.26 and other places. This is one of the most basic ways that we love each other. Scripture says that Christians are to be hospitable. The literal meaning of that word is a lover of strangers. To be hospitable really starts with welcoming strangers into our hearts and then into our homes. I want to encourage you to engage in this ministry personally and engage in it as a family. Greet the visitors among you. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for listening to the Disciple Making Parent audio blog. You can visit our website to find more resources for the family at thedisciplemakingparent.com. And if you enjoyed this episode, please consider telling someone else about the show. And please consider leaving us a rating or review. Believe it or not, both of those small things help out a lot. They help others find this program. Thanks for listening.